Good afternoon. This is All India Radio and I'm V Ravi Kumar with the Midday News. The headlines. Festival of Lights Deepavali being celebrated in most parts of the country with traditional fervor and gaiety. Prime Minister Narendra Modi celebrates the festival with ITBP jawans at Harshil border post in Uttarakhand. Offers prayers at Kedarnath temple. Mr. Modi says jawans through their commitment and discipline are helping to spread sense of security and fearlessness among people. US exempts India from certain sanctions for development of Chabahar port in Iran. And Republican Party all set to retain majority in the US Senate. Opposition Democratic Party to retake control of House of Representatives in the midterm poll. Festival of Lights Diwali is being celebrated with traditional fervor and gaiety in most parts of the country today. The festival which marks the victory of good over evil is celebrated by lighting up houses, temples and other public places. People worship the goddess of wealth Lakshmi on the occasion. The festival was celebrated in Tamil Nadu and Karnataka yesterday. Prime Minister Narendra Modi celebrated Diwali this morning with jawans of the Indian Army and ITBP at Harshil, one of the remotest border posts in Uttarakhand. Greeting the jawans on the occasion, the Prime Minister said that their devotion to duty in the remote icy heights is enabling the strength of the nation and securing the future and the dreams of 125 crore Indians. Mr. Modi said Diwali is the festival which spreads the light of goodness and dispels fear. He said the Jawans, through their commitment and discipline, are also helping to spread the sense of security and fearlessness among the people. The Prime Minister spoke about the numerous steps being taken by the government for strengthening the defence sector and welfare of ex-servicemen. He said India is taking great strides forward in the defence sector. He spoke of various measures being taken for welfare of ex-servicemen including OROP, One Rank One Pension. Mr. Modi also highlighted how Indian forces are admired globally for their skills. He said that the Indian Armed Forces draw admiration and appreciation across the world in UN peacekeeping operations. The Prime Minister offered sweets to the Jawans. Mr. Modi recalled that he has been visiting soldiers on Diwali ever since he was the Chief Minister of Gujarat. He also spoke of his interactions with the Jawans of ITBP years ago when he was part of the Kailash Mansarovar Yatra. He also interacted with people from nearby areas who had gathered to greet him on Diwali. Later, the Prime Minister Narendra Modi offered prayers at Kedarnath Shrine in Rudraprayag district. He extensively walked around the entire temple complex where significant reconstruction works are in progress. Mr. Modi interacted briefly with people present at the temple area. Our correspondent reports that Kedarnath temple complex is the focus of a major development and reconstruction effort after the severe flood and landslide that affected the region in 2013. Defence Minister Nirmala Sitaraman celebrated Diwali with troops along the line of actual control at Hao Liang in Arunachal Pradesh. Interacting with them, she reiterated the government's commitment to give latest weapons like AK-47 to all Jawans manning the border post. Ms. Sitaraman cautioned Jawans not to believe what appeared in social media and advised them to stay away from negative news appearing about forces on Facebook and Twitter. Our correspondent reports that she distributed sweets and chocolates to all soldiers. It was a very rare and emotional moment for Jawan Bhupendra Singh when Defence Minister Nirmala Sitaraman handed over a painting of his son Bikas to him. Bikas studies in 5th standard in APS school Dholakwa has written, Papa, you are a hero. Bhupendra was ecstatic with joy. It was also a momentous occasion for Rajputna Rifles Jawan Mano Singh Toma when he received a message from his son Sahil studies in 11th standard in APS Dholakwa. Tears of joy were seen in both the proud father's eyes who have not seen their children long. Holding the painting, looking at the mountains surrounding them, both the Jawans were beaming with pride for serving the motherland. So, Bhagyakar, availing in Indochina border in Arunachal Pradesh, Air News. Reports are pouring in from different parts of the country and abroad. In Delhi, people have decorated their houses with fancy lights and are preparing to worship the goddess of wealth, Lakshmi. They have also dotted the entrances of their houses with rangolis. Our correspondent reports that all arrangements have been made to make the festival incident-free in the city. 
Elaborate security arrangements have been made by the Delhi Police and Administration to make Diwali incident free. All the fire stations in the city have been put on alert and city government has made special arrangements for treating the burn victims in different hospitals. The center and the Delhi government have also urged the people to join a green Diwali movement and to make Diwali pollution free. The Supreme Court has set a two hour window from 8 to 10 p.m. to burn green crackers. The air pollution level in the national capital has slightly improved to today as compared to yesterday. Currently, the air quality is in poor category. All construction activities involving excavation have been stopped in the national capital till Saturday. With Dipendra Kumar, Unpermished AI News, Delhi. Metro services in Delhi will be available till 10 p.m. from terminal stations today. In a statement, Delhi Metro Rail Corporation said that on account of Diwali Festival, the last metro train service will be at 10 p.m. instead of 11 p.m. from terminal stations of all metro lines. In Uttar Pradesh, the festival is being celebrated with religious fervor and zeal. A report. Lakhs of pilgrims are taking dip in holy Mandakini River in Chitrakoot, where according to mythology, Lord Rama spent a lot of time during his one vast. Major buildings and temples are decorated with lights and markets are full, with people doing last-minute purchase for the festival. Preparation for Lakshmi Puja is in full swing and rangolis are being made to welcome Goddess of Wealth. A day after Uttar Pradesh government celebrated Grand Diwali in Ayodhya, Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath today reached Gorakhpur, where he will celebrate Diwali with one Tanya community. He has been celebrating Diwali since decades with these tribal people living in deep forests of Gorakhpur and neighboring areas. Sushil Chandra Tiwari, AIR News, Lucknow. In Maharashtra, Mumbaikers are celebrating Diwali with enthusiasm. People will perform the auspicious Mahalakshmi Puja in the evening. A special Mahura trading session of the stock market will also be held this evening at the BSC and NSC for an hour to buy stocks. More from our Mumbai correspondent. Mumbai's iconic swings necklace, Shivaji Park in Dadar, Juhu Beach are some of the large open public spaces in the city are literally full of thousand people stepping out to enjoy light and firecrackers. Colorful and artistic rangolis could be seen craved out at individual homes to various market and public places and even in many railway stations in traditional Maharashtrian areas like Thane, Dombivili, Vasai, Village Parle, etc. Cities' major market places are also full with gift items, special food delicacies among others. With Deva Priyo, Nivedita Bhurkar, AIR News, Mumbai. Prime Minister Narendra Modi thanked Israeli Prime Minister Binyamin Netanyahu for his Diwali greetings. Mr. Netanyahu greeted Mr. Modi and the people of India on the joyous occasion. Greeting people across the world celebrating Diwali, the U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said that it is a festival that celebrates the triumph of light over darkness. In a Diwali message, he also said that it is also a time of reflection and prayer when people perform seva or selfless service without any expectation of reward or payment. In the United Kingdom, a first-of-its-kind Kali Puja in the South London suburb of Croydon today set a new tradition as part of the city's annual Diwali festivities. The Kali Puja has also received the royal seal of approval with Queen Elizabeth II writing in with her warm good wishes for a most successful event. President Ramnath Kovin, Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu and Prime Minister Narendra Modi have greeted the people on Diwali. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. You can also log on to our website newsonair.nic.in. The United States has exempted India from imposition of certain sanctions for the development of the strategically located Chabahar port in Iran along with the construction of the railway line connecting it with Afghanistan. The decision by the Trump administration is being seen as a recognition by Washington of India's major role in the development of the port on the Gulf of Oman. It is of immense strategic importance for the reconstruction of war-torn Afghanistan. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said that eight countries, including India, are temporarily allowed to continue buying Iranian oil as they showed significant reduction in oil purchase from the Persian Gulf country. The U.S. on Monday imposed the toughest ever sanctions on Iran. In the United States, the opposition Democratic Party is projected to regain control of the House of Representatives, while the ruling Republican Party is also set to retain its majority in the Senate in the midterm elections held yesterday. According to projections made by major U.S. media outlets, Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi is expected to be re-elected as Speaker of the 435-member House of Representatives, which is the equivalent of the Lok Sabha in the Indian Parliament. In the outgoing House, the Republicans had 235 seats, while the Democrats had 193. The new House could come into being next January. However, 
The ruling Republican Party led by President Donald Trump appeared to be all set to retain majority in the 100-member Senate, where it currently has a thin majority of 51 to 49 seats. Back home in Jharkhand, 19,40,000 poor families have been given pakka houses under the Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana. Among the beneficiaries, 6 lakh poor families are tribals, whereas 2 lakh 12,000 beneficiary families are from the minority community. Here is a ground report from a Ranchi correspondent. Parvati Devi is a resident of municipal areas of Hajari Bagh and her family used to live in a small rented house which was source of constant difficulties. But now she has her own house due to this scheme. Similarly, another beneficiary, Samundri Devi of Hajari Bagh told us that her family used to live in one room house which was very difficult situation. However, after getting pakka house under Prime Minister Awas Yojana, she has got her convenience of living. So it may be said that poor across all communities of Jharkhand are getting full benefits of Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana. Rajesh Sinha, AIR News, Ranchi. Election Commission of India has accepted the broad contours of the resolution passed by the NGO Coordination Committee of Mizoram after deliberation with the ECI delegation. An official said the Election Commission has also decided to depute a higher level team led by Sudeep Jain, Deputy Election Commissioner of Mizoram, to hold further deliberations on their resolution. The Election Commission has set up Sangwari polling booths in various constituencies of Chhattisgarh to encourage women voters to exercise their franchise in the Assembly elections. In Chhattisgarhi dialect, Sangwari means friend. These women-friendly booths will be manned by all female staff, including presiding officers, supervisors and security personnel. Chief Electoral Officer Subrat Sahu said that five Sangwari polling centers have been set up for women in every assembly segment. संगवारी मतदान केंद्र वो है जहां केवल महिला कर्मचारियों की तैनाती होगी और ये महिलाओं के लिए उनके सशक्तिकरण के दिशा में एक महत्वपूर्ण कदम है साथ में इसमें अधिकांशतः महिला वोटर्स होने के कारण भी उनको सहूलियत होगी छत्तीसगढ़ इज अबाउट 1 करोड़ 85 लाख वोटर्स आउट ऑफ दीस मोर देन 92 लाख आर फीमेल्स द स्टेट हैज 90 कंस्टिट्यूएंसीज एंड पोलिंग इज शेड्यूल्ड टू बी हेल्ड इन टू फेजेस ऑन 12th एंड 20th ऑफ दिस मंथ in Madhya Pradesh, over 31,000 non-bailable warrants have been issued so far to ensure law and order as the model code of conduct has come into effect in the state. During this period, over 2,000 illegal firearms have been confiscated at different police stations. Over 10,000 cases of misuse of vehicles have been registered. Polling for 230 seats of the state assembly will be held on the 28th of this month. In Jammu and Kashmir, Srinagar witnessed the coldest night of the season last night with the mercury settling below the freezing point for the first time. The minimum temperature settled at minus 2.2 degrees Celsius. Other places across Kashmir Valley and Ladakh region also recorded temperatures below the freezing point. Leh in Ladakh region recorded a low of minus 8.4 degrees Celsius. Kargil was the coldest place in Jammu and Kashmir registering a minimum of minus 9 degrees Celsius. In Afghanistan, eight police personnel were killed and three others injured in Taliban attacks on security posts in western Farah province. Provincial Council member Dadul Lakani said the attacks last night triggered an hour-long battle in which the Taliban were beaten back. An insurgent attack on an Afghan border base in Farah on Monday had killed 20 troops while 20 others were abducted. And now before we close the headlines once again. Festival of Lights, the Pavali being celebrated in most parts of the country with traditional fervor and gaiety. Prime Minister Narendra Modi celebrated the festival with ITBP Jawans at Harshal border post in Uttarakhand. Offers prayers at Kedarnath Temple. Mr. Modi says Jawans through their commitment and discipline are helping to spread sense of security and fearlessness among people. US exempts India from certain sanctions for development of Chabahar port in Iran. Republican Party all set to retain majority in the U.S. Senate. Opposition Democratic Party to retake control of House of Representatives in the midterm poll. And for details of these stories and more, log on to our website www.newsonair.nic.in. With that, we end the midday news. Have a great day.